Um, you can look up, never reference it, flowers. That's all realistic you want to go. But your background, normally you want to start with a darker background. Now, if you didn't already, you could, you know, try to cheat and kind of put some in there. But I'll start with like a dark uh, green base. And to get a dark green base, as you know, when you're doing green, you want to have uh, black and yellow for the green, not that weird fluorescent green that we have. So I'll do a green base right in here. Also, so this will like grass or something. Okay, so right now I'm just going to block it out. And hopefully it has time to dry. And I'll let it fade out here. Okay, so that's rough. Now I'll come in with a little bit more of a narrow brush. This little background prior to the grass or the flowers. And I'll get a little bit wet. Covers better. Ooh, I like this brush. And my yellow is kind of funky. Okay, yellow and black again. I'll do like some blades, I'll just clean them up. And then I'll show you how to do that later. But with yours, um, you have white right now. So I would recommend like mixing up some sort of a dark color, try to get it in there because the flowers will stand out a lot more. Even if you kind of cut into the flowers a little bit, that's okay. Because you can make the flowers a little bit bigger and fix them later. And uh, yeah, this is not a grass show, so I gotta go a little faster. And I'll do some blades. I'll fix the blades up later. And I'll go really dark down here and a little bit lighter on the top. So now I'm just getting like a where the flowers are coming from. You don't have to have tips in your case since your flowers can be behind a jacket. So, but I would still start with this dark, uh, nice green. And, uh, so this could be a lot better, but the focus is flowers and I got five minutes. <laughs> Five minute flower show. Okay. We'll call that done for now. I'll just scrub it out. I still hate. Okay, so when you're doing flowers, um, I'll zoom in here a little bit. A lot of different approaches to making flowers. So one thing is when you're, uh, when you rinse off the brush, I'll show you like a flower with multiple petals, multiple rows of petals anyways. <clears throat> with that, um, when you're doing flowers, what I'm going to do is mix up my paint. So in other words, uh, there's what's called variegated flowers. So you could have uh, variegated nasturtiums or whatever else. Variegated just means white plus the color, which is kind of a nice little combo. But like, here's like magenta right there. So I'll take white and magenta. You don't really mix it up that well. So you actually have like chunks of the magenta in there. So the brush is like sp splotchy with other colors. See that? So what that means is when you put the paint down, it's actually gonna be multiple colors. I'll start with the back pedal. And when I'm doing the pedals, all you have to do is like squish it down like that. And then you pull and kind of twist a little bit. Let me zoom in more so you can see that better. And down. All right, still very clear. Okay. Anyway, so then I'll start with the background. Then come in there, same kind of thing. Then I'll come over here, squish, and I turn the brush. And you can see the pink stuff on the other side of it. I'll go around and do the same thing over here. Squish till it gets to the right size. And then pull. And so you can see it's like one brush per pedal. I'll do the same thing on this side. And you want to make sure that it's like, uh, well, yours is in a jacket, so it'll be facing the same direction. <clears throat> I'll add a little more white. Squish and pull. Now I'll go a little more at magenta. Focus. And a little more magenta down here. Lava magenta. It's really hard to see with this camera. So obnoxious. Okay, so now I have like general fan of those things. Then you can let it dry, and I'll go in with a little more uh, darker flowers on the inside of it. So I'll let that dry a little bit. I even add a little bit of raw umber and the colors. So it's like a little bit more beefier. 
I'll stagger them. I'll do it again. So I'm going to start with the outside, then work in. Squish, pull. Squish, pull. Squish, pull. Squish, pull. Another row of flowers in there. And then as it comes on the inside, I'll do one more row. Squish, pull, squish, pull, squish, pull, squish, pull. And then, so that's one type of flower. Focus. Okay, you could also do flowers that are like halfway blossoming, side angle, so you could come in here, squish down here, pull, kind of turn the brush a little bit, spin it. Same thing over here, squish, pull. So it's like a side view of a flower. Squish and pull. And then I'll like trim it up here a little bit. On the inside, you can have like the, where the stamen is, the flower, you can mix it up a little bit darker. Give it a little more of a center. Here you won't be able to see it. The stamens come out a little bit. Oh, cute little stamen. Okay, so then, uh, once you're done with some of the petals, I still got a little bit of time left. And I think you have a lot of variety of uh, flowers when you're on your uh, painting, which is good. All right, so then I could come in there and I could use like a lighter value, green. I could do like the yellow and mix it up here a little bit, a little bit of white. And a little bit of black. So I'll mix up like a lighter green for the stem. And with that, you could actually come in here, paint that down, then drag it up into the flower. That'll give you like a nice green uh, base the flower's on. Oh, that's brown. Same thing on the side. Flick, flick. And with the stem, I'll have it come down and then fade out to nothing. When you're doing flowers, you want to make sure that your, uh, your paint is pretty thin clean with a lot of water in it that'll look a lot better if you have a little bit of the leaves on it as well i'll show you that so here's a leaf on a flower so i uh built the kitten a little bit i'll come in here like this sharp and come on focus all right so i'm gonna start sharp here i'll squish down i'll spin the brush it's really skinny. Really a little leaf action. I'll do that again. So I'm going to go here, squish down, spin the brush, turns into a really skinny line, goes right into that. And you're going to be overlapping all these things as well, so it doesn't matter. And if you don't have stems planned, you could add some stems. Um, I don't know. I don't think you had stems on your sketch. Just the flowers, which is also cool. You also might want to make some larger ones as well. Okay, now some smaller flowers. All you have to do for smaller flowers, smaller brush, obviously. Maybe I'll add little orange ones this time. I do like a little California poppy. So here, here's an orange one. And once again, that will come out. These are the background ones. Orange and white. Squish. Pull. Get a little deeper orange. Squish, same, same size as the petals I want. Bring it in. Change color again. So every petal is like a slightly different color. It's a little variegated one. Squish, pull. Another one here. So now I'll do another little layer on the inside. Or you can even add, like, oh, I'll do magenta and have that kind of flare out from the center. So that, you're just going to stick it, stick it and flick it. Stick and flick it. All right, so got three of those. So you might want to simplify your flowers so you can get more variety in there. And I'd also add little, little tiny guys in there. I'll show you that, so I'll do some little baby guys. Oh, adorable. Like a little bud. I'll do a small white one. Let's mix it up. With these guys, I'll just do like really small 
strokes and the difference in colors and the shapes of the flowers and sizes can kind of be kind of cool. Now I'll do a couple more little buds over here. Another little bud over here. <clears throat> Focus for Pete's sake. All right. Does that get you started, do you think, Cass? Sandra? Techniques make sense for you?